Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here, welcome back to more or less play Super Mario Sunshine. What the heck is this guy running around for? Let's talk to him. It sure is going a lot brighter around here. Uh, well, duh, we got 60 shines. This is as bright as it's gonna get, so you better get used to it. Okay, so anyways, in the last episode, we took on the final Shadow Mario chase, which was in, uh, Pian uh, what was it, Pianta Village. And in this episode, uh, well, since the flood is gone, um, instead of getting the last shine, last few shines, well, actually, the last couple shines in Pianta Village, I decided that for now we're going to take on, we're going to take a break from Pianta Village and take on the shines of Delfina Plaza itself. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, um, you may notice over here, and this is actually, this happens after the Delfina Flood is gone, okay? You're going to notice that this guy is appearing, and so has this boat here. Now, if you talk to this guy, you can actually take, he can actually take you to Airstrip, which is basically the place that we started this entire game at. Now, you're going to need three, ten coins, first of all, though, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to, we're going to get ten coins, first of all. Now, um, let's see. Alright, well, it's pretty easy to get coins in Delfino Plaza anyway, so what we're gonna do is... First of all, I'll go over here. And I can squirt these things, I'll give you a coin. And you will also get a coin whenever you spray at... Let's see. Oh, didn't mean to start playing soccer, but whatever. Um, yeah, whenever you see a wanted poster with Mario, you can get coins from them, except for these two. I don't think these two give you coins. Yep, those don't give you coins, so... What we're going to do instead is... Yeah, you guys get the idea, okay? So, once you get ten coins, I'll meet you guys over where the, where the boat is. Okay, now that we've got 10 coins, we're gonna talk to this guy. Shall I take you out to the airstrip? It's only 10 coins! And thankfully, the price does not change, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. Don't expect any sea shanties from this captain, mate! Okay, well at least we know he's Australian now. Alright, so... Does this bring back a lot of memories? Well, it certainly does for me. You know, like the memories of yesterday. Where, I don't know. Alright, so... Um, first thing we're gonna do is actually we're gonna grab a turno turbo nozzle. Because actually, you may notice this uh, red pimple has appeared here. Well, being the professional pimple removers we are, we get to get this and get eight red coins. Now, keep in mind, you may remember that in the last episode, or actually more like episode 32, um, I said that there would be no more secret red coin missions. So just remember that I said secret, okay? Which is not counting regular red coin mi missions, which this is one of. Now, you, when this, once you pop that red pimple, you got two minutes to get eight red coins. Now, this mission is actually really easy. Not only that, not only can you do this mission in at, at the airstrip, but you can actually, you can get the 100, 100 coin mission of Delfino Plaza itself here, because the airstrip actually counts as part of Delfino Plaza, which is kind of weird. But whatever, so we got two more red coins, it should be on the on the strip itself, down here I think. And also a bunch of these stack and suits up here, as well as, a, as well as a shine sprite. Well, at least we know that thing was there. It's kind of odd, we actually we saw that thing uh, in, in the first episode of this entire LP, yet the first shine we ever got did not appear on this, but whatever. Let's get our shine sprite. And if I'm not mistaken, this will actually take you back to Delfino Plaza. Now, what's cool about Delfino Plaza shine sprites is you remember how whenever we get shine sprites in other worlds, we would the game would take away all your coins? Well, it doesn't do that whenever you get shines in Delfino Plaza, so you can easily... And not only that, but also... The coin... Whatever coins you did get... When you got that last shine... They get recycled. So yes, you can actually just get shine sprites over and over in Delfino Plaza and get infinite coins that way. So that makes the... The 100 coin shine of Delfino Plaza by far the easiest in the entire game. 
is without a doubt the easiest one or coin mission in the entire game. But anyways, next thing we're going to do is um, grab the turbo nozzle because we're going to need the turbo nozzle for the next two shine sprites. And the first of which is inside this building right over here. So what you do is basically blast your way through the door and there you go, another shine sprite. Very, very simple. In fact, most of the shine sprites in Delfino Plaza itself are pretty simple. Except for one. Uh, I bet you guys are just... You just, you know, you're just, you're on the floor begging right now that, that that I will do that mission inside this, inside, what the hell am I saying, um, within the same episode. Sorry, no, we will not be doing that inside this, why do I keep on saying inside this episode? That doesn't sound right, you're supposed to say in, whatever. Okay, so not only that, but we're also going to be getting the 20 blue coins of the Delphine Plaza. Yes, I said 20. There's 20 blue coins in Delphine Plaza, yet... There's 30 in every other world. Well, actually, technically there are 30 blue coins in Delfino Plaza, but we'll get into that later. <clears throat> in fact, actually, technically, if you don't count the Delfino Airstrip, there's actually only 19 blue coins in Delfino Plaza, because one of them is actually at the Delfino Plaza, I mean, the uh, Delfino Airstrip, and I cannot talk right today. But you, you actually get one blue coin just by taking out the fire for this guy. Phew, you saved my life. Thanks for... Save me or whatever. I just can't read right. I'm just assuming what they're going to say and then saying it. And it's like whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Now I'm actually before recording this episode, I actually made a. I actually wrote a list of all the shine sprites that we're gonna be getting in Delfino Plaza. So um, first was airstrip, and there was. Oh yeah, yeah. Turbo level. Okay. See, see the thing is that um. I actually wrote down first all the shine sprites you get with the del with the turbo nozzle, the airstrip one being the first, and then the and then after that is turbo level, then turbo door. I was thinking now when I did this, this is the turbo door that it's talking about, but the turbo level is actually a secret mission inside of Delphia Plaza. And yes, there are actually, if I'm correct, there are five secret missions inside Delphia Plaza now. These do not count as the, as secret missions exactly because they don't have secret red coin missions. These ones are just, uh, they just have one shine sprite and that's it. Now, turbo, this is the turbo level right here. You just have to get past these guards. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of awkward trying to reach that door without hitting one of those police officers. But here we go. Our first secret mission within Delfino Plaza itself. Now this one is actually a little bit difficult, but not that difficult. You don't have to worry about running out of water because it gives you plenty in the beginning right there. <clears throat> now you're going to be doing a lot of jumping, so be prepared. Like, you want to jump on the marks that the game gives you, and still, it gets pretty tough right here, actually. So you got to make these jumps, and then you'll get the shine sprite. Okay, one last jump. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it! Thank you, alright. Actually kind of surprised I got that on the first try. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? Just 20 more shines, then we'll be able to cash in the blue coins and then take on the final level. So we're actually, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game here. I can just feel it in my bones. Actually, feel it in me bones, because that's what the expression is. All right, what's next? One coin for a chuck. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one's actually pretty simple. In fact, the only, the only thing this this uh, mission actually costs you is just one coin. Yeah, so basically what we're going to do is you want to... Basically, we're going to be going up on the roof of this building right here. Right here. Okay. Now, right here, we have this guy right here. Howdy, throw me a coin and I'll throw you for a loop. All right, so you have to make sure that he aims you the correct way as well. And if you aim right, you will bam through that window and you'll end up in this room right here and get this shine. It's kind of a weird title I gave for the mission, but whatever. One coin for a chuck works. Should call it one coin for a chuckster. That would have been funnier, but whatever. All right, what next? Uh, boxing one and two, okay. This one is also very simple because there's actually a building and it was actually the one they were that we were just on. Um, inside that building, 
you can actually play a little mini game where you're supposed to destroy as many crates as you can within a set amount of time. Now, if you destroy all the boxes or crates, if you want to call them, you will get a shine sprite. And you can actually do this two times, so we get two shine sprites for playing this mini game twice. So we got 30 seconds to break all all these shine all these shine. Oh my god, what the hell? Why can't I freaking talk today? We got 30 seconds to break all these crates to get a shine sprite. Okay. Now this one's actually pretty simple, and not only that, but if you if you hit the boxes in the right place, you can actually destroy more than one. See right there, I just destroyed three. The odd thing is that I actually said it right before I destroyed them, but whatever. We won, so it doesn't matter. We get our shine sprite. That was great. You're the best. Yeah, whatever. You know, I gotta wonder how difficult it is to do this in real life. It's got it's gotta be way more difficult to do this. The shine, like if you were trying to destroy many crates, it's it. You can imagine this probably being at least a bit more difficult, like in, if you were to do it in real life. But you know, it's not like kids are supposed to try everything they see on TV or YouTube. You know, at home. All right. So once you get, once you do that, then you can come back here and get another shine sprite. Break all the crates within 30 seconds to win yourself a prize. Okay, this time you cannot break more than one at a time. So. It's a bit more difficult, mainly because the crates are actually stacked up this time. Now, I used to think you could actually get three Shine Sprites from this, because actually, when you come here again, even though you can't get any more Shine Sprites, the, the crates will still be arranged differently, so that, may, that makes you think that you can get another Shine Sprite, but, but in reality, you can. Alright. So now we get another Shine Sprite. And I think we got enough time for one more shine, I think. Okay, what's next? Beach cleaning. Yeah, this one yeah, this one won't take long, okay. <coughs> yeah, actually you get the shine on the way to the lighthouse, and it's very simple actually. Even though not a lot of people in fact I don't think anybody can figure this, figure out that you can get this uh shine sprite. Yeah, I don't think anyone can, honestly. But basically what you do is you want to spray some around here, and then then after that, a shine spray will appear. Actually, I didn't really make that clear, but basically, yeah, you just you just spray until until this uh, image of a shine spray appears, and there you go, you get a shine spray. See how simple the shine sprays in Delfino Plaza are? Now, if only we could get shines this, this fast in other worlds. Oh, crap. 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 There we go. Alright, so unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. So, I think that's going to about do it, okay? So, I mean, like, we did, we made some pretty good progress. We got, like, what? One... Yeah, we got 11... Sh that was 11 shines we just got in this one episode. Wait, I think... What's that? Wait, that can't be. Wait. No, I'm pretty sure we, we, we did not get 11 shines. We didn't. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Okay, I'm looking at this list wrong. Actually, wait. Oh, we only got 7 shines. Yeah, 7 shines. We didn't get 11. Wow, I'm stupid. That's a great way to end off an episode with MCG being his usual stupid self. Well, either way, that's gonna be that's gonna do it for this episode. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we will hopefully get the remaining shines of Delfino Plaza. Of course, in order to do that, that's gonna require a lot of cutting. So if that's what it takes, then that's fine. Okay. <laughs> so I'll see you guys then. Multiclass Gamer signing out. Thanks for watching. Bye.